Hey guys, it's Trancher Dan here, and I'm going to be doing a very quick video. So, uh, yes, yeah, some people already know this, some may not, and I figured it would be uh, an interesting video to do. So, um, as you can see, this is the giant uh, spiny stick insect, or giant thorny stick insect, and I'm going to show you how to sex them. Now, I do have a, uh, a pair of these, uh, a male and a female. This one here in my arm is the female, and uh, it's actually really, really easy. Uh, even to those who, if you don't know now, you should know by the end of the video. So yeah, uh, these are quite large, as you can see. And the, there are two main differences when it comes to um, to these awesome animals. Um, the first one is on the third pair of legs. You can see how they're, they are quite spiny. Um, but you see that one just there? Um, in like On the left hand side, the bottom one. See how small that is? With the male, as you'll see in, in uh, just a short while, is really, really big. And uh, they will basically give you a jab with them. Very powerful back legs. Um, the female's legs are all quite uh, thin. Whereas the males are more bulky and have this uh, this kind of spike on it. And the other difference, if I can get her into a good position, is uh, the back. Now you may look at this and think that it's like a giant spike, and uh, it's not. This is actually um, for laying eggs. So it's like, um, like an uh, ovipositor, I think they call them kind of thing. Um, and yeah, it will basically just keep uh, laying, that's where they lay their eggs from. Which is uh, awesome, I think. So yeah, that's basically the two main differences. It's the uh, the back here. Let me show you a look at that. And the legs, like I said, being thinner and without the spikes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her into, into their enclosure. You can see it's like a little little jungle, big exoterra. And uh, then I'll get the male out and I'll show you him. Okay then guys, and then here's the male. Very, uh, quite an active guy. You can see him sitting around, feeling the camera with his uh, antennae. Now the difference is the main, well, there's quite a few as you'll see. Look at the front legs. And look at the back legs, look how beefy those are. And you should be able to see what I mean about the um get him in that You're getting right up. <laughs> and hopefully you can see that uh big spike. But the spikes on the underneath are generally a lot bigger. But you have got the one uh well one either side as you can see, which are just huge. And they will literally try and empower you with those and don't him to hurt himself so yeah you can see the legs are completely different to that of the female and obviously if you look at the the abdomen at the back it's just flat because obviously he doesn't need to deposit any eggs obviously the female is in a point this is flat so yeah, it is really easy. Um, you know, most people probably know this, but if for those of you who don't, now you know. Mm, just having a cool down my arm. Look at the, you see his legs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him here. goes climbing into his enclosure and the females just down there and you can see I've got some uh, lots of bramble in here and things like that I've got some soil and stuff down there as well uh, I'm gonna put some more soil in around it but uh, let's close that one door 
So yeah, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that is the difference with them. Like I said, it's it's really not hard. Uh, it's the males who've got those big, huge spikes on the back legs. Uh, the legs are fatter, and the uh, the body is obviously comes to a stump. Whereas the females, uh, I don't know if you can see that, has got that big point at the end. So yeah, it's really simple to distinguish. Uh, what a species! I can't remember what they're called now. I don't know where I'll put the. Uh, Where I'll put the paper with it on. Let me, oops, knock things over. If I have a look, I think. No, that's the same for the spider shop. Put it in my pocket. Some drawers. Yeah, I can't remember what the ah there you go. Eurocanther. So uh Oh god my oh, sorry guys, <laughs> my foot has gone to sleep. Um so yeah when I bought them came with these instructions. Um So there you go, that's a quick look at them. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it is really easy, but I thought it could be a somewhat interesting video um, for those of you who don't know how to keep them. So obviously they're, oh, they're completely uh, new to me, but uh, very interesting. So uh, yeah guys, that's basically this video done. Um, it's gone a bit longer than I thought it, but hopefully to some people if you're considering getting some and I would recommend it um, yeah um, hopefully this video has helped you in distinguishing between the two sexes uh, and also guys if there's anything else you'd like to know about these or any of my other animals please uh, don't hesitate to ask me and I will do a video um, to explain it to you so uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching take care and I will speak to you soon